every time I tell myself I'm not going to get this Axiom, I'm not going to buy this version of the triple lot design Axiom, and then I find myself ordering it. I'm still waiting for the sweet spot in terms of features and material builds that I just really want. And we'll see. What do you think? Is this one going to be it? Is this going to be the winner? The previous ones just haven't done it. In fact, I don't have any anymore. I've relocated them. So this is the ultra version of the Axiom S2. Let's get to it. This is the third Axiom video I've done. And I'm really hoping that Triple Out Design perfects this layout to the point where we can declare victory and say this is the one, the Axiom to rule them all. Now this one is, you know, of course standing, perfect. It's not completely full like I've done in the previous one, which was on wax canvas, but this is Ultra 400, which I've had a little bit of experience with. We'll get to some comparisons here in a little bit on two great other bags, but more about this build in particular. Now, I'm also going to steal some photos from somebody on a Facebook group, Curiology Classified, that did a very nice walkthrough and comparison of two of these builds, the 24 and this one, which none of these have really done it for me, so I've sold them, and but then I keep buying them. So this is Ultra 400. What I'm gonna show you here is there's some internal features that I wish this one had that was on a previous edition. And then they improved some other things here. So really what I'm really hoping for in the future is that we take some from the old, bring it to the new, and just declare victory on this design. Spoiler alert, we're not there yet. And really highlights of this design, S2, which I highlighted most of this in my previous, video, which I'll link here, which was the waxed canvas edition. In a few minutes, there'll be another link to the older version. But bottom line is this version has a fantastic, much better back panel. Two ridges with a central air channel for, you know, the ridge of your spine to fit in there. Just much better. Nice density foam on this one. Load lifters, which is a nice touch. The material of the bag, predominant material in the bag, works its way onto the shoulder straps, which are sufficiently wide and padded and very, very comfortable. Now, this one happens to be the Ultra. The previous video I did was wax canvas all the way to the front, so it just brings whatever you love all the way throughout the bag, which is a nice touch. Now, things I didn't like on previous editions, you know, this handle is about, is fine. It's not, you know, it wouldn't work for me in my mode, but that's specific to the my everyday carry because I hang it on the front of my rollerboard. But it is nice and durable. And again, ultra material, super, super cool. Now, in my previous videos, I also talked about just things that, you know, how would I do this or this wasn't perfect. I kind of have my perfect sweet spot on this one set up right now. Like for instance, this side on the, you know, one side zipper on one side is the water bottle pocket. On the other side is the laptop. And this side I have pretty much the perfect size water bottle is this chloral size. So something on the smaller, more narrow side is gonna work out nicely. My previous video had my big 18 ounce Yeti, which barely fit. And so anything that you're gonna struggle with getting in or getting out is just something you maybe either not gonna go for or you're just not gonna use that way. But in this size, I think this chloral would work perfectly in this side pocket. Of course it's lined and it's super nice. Now this bag overall is more crinkly Definitely, because the internal and this this external ultra build, much like another great ultra bag, the Kaiden Three Carryology Go Rock build, theirs is also lined. But it just seems to be, I don't know, better laminated. I don't know, they're both very solid build feels. Another thing that I really loved about this, and really in all the axioms, they have these little tabs in there. Well, I got this flashlight. This is the Wubin X3, rechargeable, which this one needs to be recharged. But the fact that I can just put this on there and, and just you can ride your bike with this sucker, now you have a light, something to attach on there, which I haven't done before. This light is fantastic because it goes either one way or the other, which I think is just a really cool feature that I know 
now in love and uh, it's my go-to flashlight for pretty much everything. So that's cool, right? Now, this is no different. Same access to your laptop, which is cool. I only have a 13 inch in here. I normally rock a 14. The 16, I think would fit just because this pocket goes all the way full height of the back panel of the bag. Top pocket is of course nice and padded like the previous edition. It is a fantastic design and I think it for, you know fits perfectly for me. This is a nice EDC bag for me, uh, grab and go around town kind of thing, just because of its layout. Now, the things I don't like, mostly has to do with this front pocket, which is a nice, you know, full down, go to work pocket. See, that works even with the flashlight on there. That's cool. Anyway, a little more crinkly, but, and here's where we go to a photo. As you can see on previous editions, this pocket had a zipper, which I love, because this drop-in pocket just, it's kind of worthless because it can't put a big iPad in here because you wouldn't be able to open the pocket. When you do fold it open, you're not, you really just can't put anything in there. So it's kind of a waste. I'd rather just not even have it in there, to be honest. It would make that easier to flip around, but that's just me. Inside are the other things I don't like. Overall, the lack of zippers in places must be a cost saving measure, which I totally disagree with. I would rather spend a little bit more and get the bag I want than get this, which is perfect in a lot of regards, but total misses in others. So we're almost there. This uh, pocket goes full depth, which again, if you put something super big in there, you wouldn't be able to access the things that you've sort of laid out for your use. When you put this next to you at your desk, at your chair, on the airplane, on the train, whatever it happens to be. I just happen to have this James uh, and Huckberry little little notebook carrier, other additional cards, some other things. I've got another mightier pouch that fits in my other bag, which I'll show you here in a little bit. But, you know, field notes, action cameras, little things to drop in, another pocket for maybe some cash, some other items, there's a little loop in there. So, you know, there's just a lot of cool things to this. The internal features and line out is nice. The zipper pocket would have been a home run, in my opinion. In the main compartment, we have kind of the same thing in terms of misses we have some drop-in pockets and one thing people always ask is there this little hidden pocket still there no it's gone i wish i had my original axiom because that pocket was awesome for putting stuff in there so as we open this sucker up what do we have that we can show you because it's kind of rigid but this back panel i just got two things stacked up i've got the larger gr2 field pocket and in the GR1 style, uh, both stacked up there. We have some attachment loops up underneath and down at the bottom. What are those for? Well, the admin panels that they sell would work out perfectly. You can just uh, route those through and have additional admin in terms of pockets. This is a triple R design version, or you know, just some molly webbing for some other things to kind of loop through there if that was your jam. Because it's on the back of the main compartment, it's not something I would typically use, so I leave those off. Here's that stretchy top pocket. Here's what you're looking at, that chloral water bottle. And this zipper over here, you're getting to the main compartment. So in, in here, back here, is my laptop. So that's the internal workings of the main part. As we look at the front open area, we have two drop-ins, another bigger drop-in. And then, again, you can attach some admin stuff on the inside of this end, too. But Again, would have loved a zipper here and maybe some zipper pockets on these too. I just have this uh, smaller shadow pocket in this pocket and I have two of these mightier pouches dumped into here, which, you know, are cool. When I, my previous edition, I used it as a sort of a drone bag and so I would just drop in some other things. So these, these drop in pockets are sort of nice, maybe not for everybody, but at a minimum, zipper in that front area, zipper here for this area, and we're really, really close to perfect on this bag. Maybe put a little different thing in here. But the original, or at least the previous, the S2 version, had some additional attachment on here, which I think was just a nice little cool touch added a little bit to this bag. Now we don't have that, and so those are sort of my misses when it comes to the Axiom. We're just, just missing some little tiny features. And of course it fits a little bit smaller, but the, you know, the 24 liter 
claim on the previous edition with a little out of whack. This one is a little more in tune with its actual size. So there we go. Some nice features. We're so close. So close. But since we're here, let's compare it to some more recent awesome EDC bags that, that I've done before that would be maybe on your list. So in terms of the Ultra 400, this was the previous edition that I had. And here they are side by side, 18 liters over here, 18 liters over here. But we just look a ton different, a lot more depth. Of course, let's put up dimensions side by side so you can kind of compare the two height with depth and go from that. Now, of course, this one's not available. This one is currently available at Triple Hot Design Link, of course, in the description. But AquaGuard zippers, very similar feel to both these bags. Now, totally different layouts. We have a GR2 style. Of course, I did a video on this over there. You can take a link to it. I've actually really brought this out a ton for you to see in videos. This one just works perfectly for me, the way I put an iPad in the front, keep me a laptop, <laughs> me laptop take my laptop in the back top pocket for some other things you know just internal organization for me in my day-to-day -day. this one just works out perfectly because I sit it down and I work out of it from the top not the front but you know ultra features throughout which is super nice both comfortable different style lumbar pad on this one air channel you know two ridge style on this one which is different than this they just they wear differently you know that's it so that's an 18 to 18 ultra comparison about the closest thing we have, you know, orange accents on this one. You could put some zipper pulls all over this one if you wanted to. I think that's probably fair, but overall, just this one is my go-to. This one is a nice wear around ultra. And again, I'm probably going to try to use this one in drone mode for a while just to see how it works out because I can go anywhere, put it down. Nothing's going to get damaged or wet. The wax canvas was a little bit, problematic when it came to that but it was gonna patina up nice right super cool all right so another fantastic everyday bag for me in a recent edition is this evergood cpl 16 liter which has become my day-to-day go-to when i just need to dump a stuff in the bag and go this is a bunch of my camera accessories it's my around town bag in fact i added the little peak design camera attachment and i added the the Fidlock mod from Thermal Lift Workshop. So this one just has, it's, you know, if I'm not going bullet, I'm definitely going CPL 16. This one's a total home run. Definitely go check it out. It's available and it just is very, very comfortable, very, very feature rich for the, a lot of things that I want to carry. Carry the laptop in the back, iPad mini in the front. Could probably fit the regular iPad in the front as well. Main compartment, nice layout of the zippers. Just really, really cool. But it might not be for you. You might not like this vertical pocket style. You might want this top fold down, right? So there we go. So I don't, I mean, just in terms of size, dimensions, here we are. Evergoods, triple lot design in this small EDC category. So what do you think? Where are we? You know, for me, I'm gonna to continue to use this as a grab and go around town when I need to just throw some stuff in a bag, action cameras, film some stuff. This is the bag that I've been using. In fact, I took this on a trip as my third bag. You could do that when you're the pilot and you're putting yourself in the cockpit. This is my day-to-day -day pilot bag. Where will this one fit? Only time will tell. Do you love it? Did you get it? Is it worth it? I don't know, these are this life's main quandaries and i really do love the axiom and just two little things man add it and we were we're done it's perfect perfect so there you go that's what i think of it that's where i'm at i really just wish they would combine features from the older edition the 24 liter ish pack to this one and then we'd have the perfect one no other changes required somewhere in between on volume with the features and the zippers that we know and love and like from each one. So come on, Triple A Design, let's get it together, put it together and just call it good. Meanwhile, some updates to the Scout, maybe the light speed, that kind of stuff. Just things I'd like to see from Triple A Design in the near future. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of the S2 design. Do you love it? Do you wish they had other features? Love to hear from you, so leave me a comment. See you in the next video.
we're gonna continue to enjoy this outside, fighting pollen, doing all that stuff. See ya. One benefit of filming every week out in the outdoors is I get to see the difference in the vegetation every week and it just is just boom, going crazy. Yes, of course. Use the microphone. That's why I have it on. No need to confirm that I want to use the microphone because I do.